Hello everyone, my name is Hussam and in this video I will show you how to compile custom Linux kernel for MySPP4 model B. The board is connected to a 3.5 inch touch screen display. To build a custom Linux system we need to choose one of the popular open source projects. I have previously worked with Buildroot, but for this project I decided to go with Yocto. A powerful open source collaboration project that allows us to build uh, custom embedded Linux based systems. Yocto is an amazing tool for customizing an entire embedded system. It provides the tool chain, custom kernel image, bootloader, and a root file system, making it ideal for an embedded development. So let's take a look at the embedded Linux architecture that we will have at the end of the project. At the bottom, we have the bootloader which loads the kernel and the driver into a memory. Next, we have the root file system, which contains the Linux services. Here we use the systemd to enable the different services. So we use the systemd as the init manager. Since I am using the C++ Qt6, we will also find the C++, C++ libraries. At the top layer, at the top layer we have application, in this case, uh, we have the Fire Steamer application. Let's take about the application that I built here. So the application I am building is called Fire Steamer. It is a media player that allows users to play and stream videos from the internet into a private environment. Fire Steamer also integrates other media services like YouTube, Netflix, and Spotify for music playing. The core functionality for the Fire Steamer is a video player that fetches video files from the cloud. Since the video streaming is hashed, we use the hashless, the HTTP live streaming protocol for secure and efficient transmission. For development, I am using this tech stack. I am using the C++ as the main programming language. Also, I am using the Qt6 for the graphical user interface and I use the CMake for building the project. Qt creator for us the development environment. Now let's open the Qt creator and build the application. Open launching. The application starts with a splash screen followed by the home page which includes a header displaying the time notifications, and connected devices. The widgets, clock and weather IP, showing a temperature, humidity, humidity, and wind speed. The weather component is getting data from the open weather map IP. We have here in the bottom left a button for to access and different building applications. The app included several integrated applications. We have here open social media platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Let's try open one of them one by one. Also, it provides YouTube for watching videos. Throughout the last few projects, we've built a seven-segment display driver in Verilog. Google Chrome for browsing the web. 
GitHub for searching for the open source projects and Netflix for watching series and movies. The main feature of the app is the video play, which plays video using the Hashless protocol. Videos are automatically loaded and encrypted from the cloud storage, ensuring that only authorized users can access them. Users can select the video to play from the list. It can play pause videos, skip forward backward by 5 seconds, enable repeat mode, mute and mute audios, switch to the full screen. Also, we provide here Spotify audio player or music player for playing and enjoying your favorite tracks. It allows you to play music, select the desired song, pause, playback, shuffle tracks, or loop song differently. Just for fun here, we build here a calculator, just for quick calculations. Also, we add here a settings app for managed connectivity, like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and appearance, like phones, background images, and color. For the connectivity settings, in the Wi-Fi settings, once enabled, the system can scan for available networks and Wi-Fi icon appears here in the weather in the header. Users can select the networks by entering the password and connect. As you can see here, we currently have only one access point available. Let's try to enable the spot of my phone and see if there appears as a network option. Since the apps are running in my PC, it will set the PC's Wi-Fi sticks. The Wi-Fi is currently connected to the existing access point, but let's start connecting it to the phone's host port. It will prompt me to enter the password. Once I enter the password, the system will verify it. If the password is correct, the Wi-Fi will connect successfully. Similarly, in the Bluetooth settings, user can scan for devices and pair them using the passcode. Now, let's save the appearance customization. The home page is used to direct them by default, but users can customize the background by selecting the either a color or an image. Once an image is chosen, it immediately updates the home screen background. Now let's open the Ecto project to show how to integrate your software project in it. After we have set up our Ecto project with the Kirkley Stone release, let's dip deeper into how to integrate with the Firestreamer into the build system. To properly integrate the Firestream application, we started our bblayer.com file to include all the necessary meta layers. We have previously the base poppy layers provides the fundamental object to build system. We have we add the meta kt6 layer to ensure the kt6 support for our user interface. We add the Raspberry Pi layer to enable the compatibility with the Raspberry Pi hardware, and we customize the Firestream layer. It contains our application, drivers, and additional configuration. This is layers ensure that the environment is equipped with everything needed to build and deploy the Fire Streamer successfully. Our BTB CP defines the essential dependencies for our KT6 space by Streamer application. We add the KT6 modules like KT base, KT declarative, KT multimedia, KT virtual, keyboard, KT web engine, and KT web view. For the multimedia support, we add the G streaming plugins for handling the video and the audio streaming. For the Bluetooth support, we add the Blue Z5 to enable the wireless connectivity. And for the audio utilities, we add ALSA utils for audio management. The Depends and the Air Depends section ensure that this package are available both at the build time and the runtime. Also enhance user interactions. We customize the X server configuration to support the touch screen input. 
We define the exterior display configuration. We enable the touch screen drivers and we ensure the precision touch input. For the kernel and the bootloader integration, to integrate this mouse operation, we made a kernel label modification. We customized the kernel patches for the Raspberry Pi compatibility. We adjust the boot time settings for optimizing the performance. By applying these configurations, we ensure that the fire streamer boots seamlessly with all the required drivers and features. This generated a fully customized Linux image ready for flashing into the Raspberry Pi. By integrating the Kitty 6 streamer touch screen support and optimize the kernel configurations, we have successfully embedded the fire streamer into Yecto. This setup ensures a smooth, user-friendly experience with seamless media streaming capabilities. Now let's boot the image into the Raspberry Pi board and see how the fire streamer in action. Thank you. 